Series. This is Laser Brody out here in the desert of Arizona with something really important. Hashem's world is a classroom. You see, I'm sitting on this old rock here and I'm off the beaten path, off the beaten path. But in the summertime, I would not be sitting on this rock. This is the middle of winter and there's no javelinas around. The javelinas are the wild boars that are na nature to this, their natural, this is a natural habitat and something even worse, rattlesnakes. This particular part of desert is full of rattlesnakes, okay? And their time where they come, you don't see them on the path. And you won't see the boar on the path. They're up here in the wilderness, and the snake's under a rock, and the javelinas, they get jumped right, right from the wilderness. And that's all types of dangers we can get off the path. Plus which, there's not these great big old cactus, the Segura cactus on the path. When you get off the path, it's that, well, you can say, oh, I can avoid the big cactuses, but the cactus drop leaves and little prickly things, and all of a sudden you step on it, and they go right through your shoes. All types of perils when you get off the path. And what's this all big metaphor? What's the Shem telling us? We have a path, the top, to the top. The top is our goal in life. And the best path to take us to that goal is the path of Torah. But especially young people, they think they're smarter than a Shem. They think they know there's a better path. So they go off the path. We call off the dare. They go off the path. And then they find all kinds of problems. And there's rattlesnakes. And there's wild boars, javelinas. And there's mountain lions. And there's prickly cactus. And they injure and they hurt you. Why? The Torah wants you to have a nice, pleasant life. People have all types of difficulties in life that they really, they cause for themselves. Why they cause themselves? Because they go away from Hashem's Torah. You follow Hashem's Torah. And not just follow Hashem's Torah, but with emuna. You follow Hashem with emuna. You pray with emuna. And you do mitzvahs with emuna. King David said in Psalm 119, call mitzvah secha emuna. And don't go off the beaten path. Okay, especially... Sometime in the winter, I'm going to take a little look right here and there. People go on vacation. People say, well, you can do something for your enjoyment, but get right back on the path. Don't stay off the path. And certainly be careful. If you take one slight step off the path, you've got to be very careful because we want to make it to the top. And the way to make it to the top and to avoid the wild boars, the rattlesnakes, and all the perils of this world is to stay on that path. Hashem should help you stay on that path. And God bless with success in everything you do and you should reach your goal.